Welcome to the video for the A-plus system for painting, taking PlanSwift to the next level for painting contractor. This plugin makes estimating incredibly fast, easy, and dead-on accurate. Basically, all you do is select from a list of pre-built items. Yes, the database is already built for you. Next, do your takeoff. Then, it instantly and automatically gives you material quantities, such as primer gallons needed, finished gallons, etc. It also automatically calculates labor hours needed for all the tasks. It also calculates the unit prices, ready for editing to hit any price that you need. Once you're done with the takeoff, the real power of this plugin is when you export to Excel. This is where we have built an Excel master sheet where using this Excel master sheet, it will automatically generate for you a proposal sheet that you can hand to your customer. Add equipment needs such as lift equipment, compressors, etc. just with a few clicks. One click to calculate your travel time and per diem based on defaults you set up. Automatically generates a field budget sheet. This is a sheet you give your field workers. Instantly creates paperwork for setting up the job once you have sold it and so much more. Rather than talk about it anymore, let's go ahead and give you the demonstration. Let's take a look. When you purchase the A-plus system, up in the right-hand corner up here, you will be given a set of templates, starting with painting assemblies, commercial painting, tenant improvement, residential, and high-end residential. The basic difference is the production rates, where the painting assemblies are generic. You can set the production rates to whatever you want on the fly. The commercial production rates are set for fast production work. For example, commercial painting takes less time compared to the high-end residential, where it takes a lot more time. This project is a basically a tenant improvement project, so I would select a tenant improvement project for this type of project. I would select my interior surfaces, select my walls, and then I'd find the walls with an eggshell finish. It will automatically default with the basic description. Whatever color you want to use, you can select. You can set your wall height to whatever it is. If it's a 10-foot wall, you can select that. And it will automatically default to one coat primer and two coats of finish, along with your material cost and your production rates, which you can edit on the fly without changing your database. Once you've selected that, simply hit OK, and then the digitizing fund begins. For those of you who've used PlanSwift, you're already familiar with this technique. I'm just going to do this very quickly for demonstration purposes. I like to use the zigzag technique. When I have three rooms stacked up like that, I can get all three of them with one continuous line. Whatever technique you want to do, if you want to do it room by room, that works as well. But again, just for demonstration purposes, I'll do this this way. Right, and that's going to get the walls just for demonstration. And again, I don't have time to do the entire project here, so let's just go ahead and continue on. I also have doors that I can select from, or I can select doors and frames to be painted with one click, or I can separate them out. When I select the doors and frames one click, I just go ahead and select the defaults there and then just start finding the doors. It's that easy. And I don't worry too much about setting the exact defaults. I can always do that on the back end, which I'm going to show you next. Once we're done with this, we also hit on the Estimating tab, and you'll see that the breakdown it gives you, just from highlighting, automatically comes up with the primer gallons, your finished gallons, how many coats you figured for each step of the process, material dollars, your labor dollars, total hours, the unit price, the bid amount, total surface, and some other information that is used on the back end. From here, I would click on Export to Excel. When I click on Export to Excel, it gives me what I call an Excel dump which looks like this. Pretty much what Excel gave me, or sorry, pretty much what PlanSwift gave me dumped into Excel, which I can copy this and paste it into the master. Now, there's the import sheet at the bottom. Once I click on the takeoff tab at the bottom, then you can start to see the power. Up here on the right-hand corner is where I focus on how many people do I want to put on that job. What is their travel and per diem related to this particular? And it will remind you, edit on the travel tab. The travel tab is down here where I can specify daily, weekly, and monthly how that's going to be calculated out so that on the takeoff tab, all I need to do is put an X in that column and tell it daily X here, and it'll automatically calculate for me exactly how much to allow for travel and per diem. For the lift equipment, it tells me to refer to the equipment tab at the bottom. Here's where you would put in all of your prices that you would pay for the month and for the week and or for the day 
for each of these items of equipment rental. For the 19 foot scissor lift, if you needed that for one week, you just simply type a one week here and it automatically calculates that and puts that into your final price. We'll delete that just for purposes here. Now the material adjust, mat adjust tab at the bottom. This allows me to go in here and change my prices in the event that a manufacturer is going to be used differently than the one I estimated. For example, if a material supplier is specified that cost more per gallon, I can come in here and change my price that I paid to the manufacturer, again for the primer price and the finish price, so that it'll automatically pick up these price changes and put that into my revised bid amount. The markup allows me to use subcontracts. If this is a wallpaper line item, I could mark it up an additional 15 or 20 percent, sub it out for this amount, and it'll tell me how much to charge my customer with the markup included, again adjusting the final price to the customer. The general contractor list is where I can make a list of the contractors I'm bidding it to, along with their emails, so when it comes time to email the bid, just click and print, click and print, and off it goes. My labor data is just where I calculate how much to uh, figure in for my labor so that it'll give me the accurate breakdown of the bid used in other reports later on. We have instructions on this that explains how to use this sheet. It gives me an automatic proposal sheet. The proposal sheet is where you would drop in your logo up here, your name, address, city, state, zip up here, and then it'll automatically drop in the price down here where you can put in some alternate prices in here if you wish, and it will automatically calculate a down payment and progressive payments if you wish, or if it's a contractor, you can just leave that blank. A simple scope of work, identifying the line items, how many coats, how many square feet that you can give to your painters in the field or your field foreman to give them a brief description of here's what this job, job is all about. Congratulations, you sold the project. Click on a sold tab. Down here it gives the breakdown to the office to show them how it was bid and what percent net profit you've anticipated um, getting for that. For the materials tab, this is for the field. This is where it will calculate for you this is my primer materials up here. For primer, we didn't have any, uh, There's, you know, we've estimated 17 gallons of the first material. We have zero gallons estimated for the second materials because they're factory primed. Down at the bottom, scroll down a little bit, here's my finished material where it now tells me you've got 34 gallons estimated and 4 gallons estimated here. And you can keep track of how many gallons you've ordered so you can see if you're always in the green over here, which will adjust as time goes on. We also have my field report for the equipment so that when I would have typed in one here, it would have told my field manager to get one week of 19-foot scissor lift, and here's the price we had bid for it. It also allows them to put in how much they spent for it and how much the remaining balance is, so we'll keep track of that. If you use subcontractors, it will automatically generate a report that goes to them. Here's your contract. Here's what you're expected to do. Here's the quantity. Here's my daily man rate, here's how many man days we have for it, and it'll automatically hand that off to your subcontractors if you use that. If you don't use field subcontractors, then you can use your own employees. This is a field budget sheet intended to give to your painters in the field. That will show them a list of everything that's included, how much of that they're supposed to do, the estimated hours, and you want it to beat it by a certain percentage, beat it by 10%. Here's your goal hours, and here's the production rate that you're expected to do along with how many coats. In the field being a printed document, they would come out here and they would type in how many actual hours they actually had, or they can handwrite it in, and that can be entered in by someone in the office, so that you can keep track of how many hours they're actually taking compared to your estimated hours to see if your estimating needs to be adjusted for future reference. So that's a basic look at the system within PlanSwift. Now we also have other A-plus systems, not just for the painting industry, but we also have, um, there's the one you've just seen for painting, new construction projects. Also for the painting industry, we have come up with one called the repainting system for A-plus, A-plus repainting. This is where you have an existing project where there is no digital plans. They're not needed. It allows you to use PlanSwift in a similar manner where you select the item, put in the quantity, and it gives you all the same back-end features so no matter how you do your estimating, you still have exactly the same calculation and back-end features that the A-plus system gives you. We also have a, the A-plus system for drywall. This is for people who drywall installation, tape, and texture. There are separate videos on each one of these, so please check out the store uh, for the videos on each one of these. We also will have one for floor coatings, if not done already. 
That will be for epoxy systems, broadcast systems, and much more. We also will be having one for roof coatings. Again, maybe done already. Or if there's anything that you would like to see an A-plus system made customized specific to your trade, just let us know. Now would be a good time to pause this video and to take a look at the number on the screen. Write that down. Or you can email me at info at evergreentech.net. That's info at evergreentech, tech is spelled T-E-C-H, dot net. Thank you for watching the video and feel free to have, uh, feel free to call with any questions you may have.